subscribe button down below and make sure y'all ding that bell so every time i post a video y'all will know about it so my eyes running really bad so i'm gonna make this intro very short today i did a glitter cut crease this is the look right here i really hope you guys enjoy it like i said my eye is running really bad right now and it's messing up my makeup as we speak so we just gonna jump right into this okay Alright y'all, so I went ahead and I primed my lids with the Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Medium Tan Neutral, it says 38N. And I buffed it out with this real um, Techniques brush right here. I did not set the concealer because I really want my eyeshadows to pop. And when I don't set the concealer, that's when my eyeshadows pop more. So I'm going to be working with the James Charles and Morphe palette. Y'all know this is my go to palette like get all the pretty colors like how can this not be my go-to palette like duh i'm so happy i got my camera like situated like my stand my ring light and my mirror i'm so happy i got it situated because now i can just be like in one view like I could be like just right here before I used to be over here and over here and over here. We're going to go ahead and pack that purple eyeshadow on. I'm going to grab this red color right here and then I'm going to pop that right on top of the purple like this. See? And then we're going to blend out those colors. So let's go ahead and pack that right here on top of the purple. I love the shadows in this palette. Like, they just come so pigmented. It's amazing. James Charles, you did that for me. I'm gonna go in with the same brush and I'm gonna grab like this orange shade right here just to like make it more orange. I wanted it more orange. Yeah, I ain't really want it like. I ain't really want it red. I mean, pink. It's supposed to be red, but. Now I'm gonna go back in with this purple shade and we're just gonna deepen up that purple shade and blend it on out. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M562 brush. It looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and take this yellow shade right here. And I'm gonna pop that on top of that red. Giving me very much sunset vibes. I feel like this look is gonna come out really pretty. Y'all see that hue? Y'all see it? <laughs> That's what I wanted. Look, it was like a fucking sunset. Now I'm basically just gonna follow the brush. Whatever shape the brush makes, that's the shape that I'm gonna follow. So. Now I'm gonna go in with my NYX Glitter Primer. It's basically glitter glue. I do apply this like little by little because this does like dry out kind of fast. 
and so you don't want to put too much and then by the time you go to put your glitter on it's like you can't put it on because it's dry and that's not what you want the glitter i'm using today is the nyx glitter brilliance and this is in the shade beauty bean I'm gonna go back in that purple shade from my Morphe and James Charles palette, that dark shade, and I'm gonna go in the and some of the purple shade is going to go over the glitter that you put on. It's gonna look right. Touch the process. to be using the NYX Epic Wear Liner. There is a love and a relationship between me and Glitter like it's just so I'm gonna prime my face with the Benefits Professional. Go ahead and color correct my face with my LA Girl Pro Concealer Orange Color Corrector. Put this everywhere where I have dark marks. And y'all know that's underneath my eyes. I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but I got this little scar right here. So I'll be having the color correct right there. And then wherever I have like little dark marks at, that's why I color correct. And I like the color correct around my mouth too because I do have some discoloration there. So I like to just go ahead and make sure I get that. So when I put my foundation on, it's all one even tone. Now we're going to take this beauty blender and we're going to blend out that color corrector. This is the foundation I'm going to use. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the color Sandalwood. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put this all over my face. Hopefully I got enough for my whole face. I think I do. And I absolutely love this foundation. Like when I say, this is really one of the foundations that is really full coverage like they say it is. Like, no cap. I fuck with Estee Lauder for this one. Go ahead and blend out this foundation. Oh my goodness, look at this, this is so pretty.
Tarte um, Shape Tape for a concealer. set that concealer with my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Setting Powder. This is in the shade Kalahari. I'm gonna just dip this on my beauty blender and I'm gonna bake. Today I am baking. I haven't been baking really lately, but today your girl is baking. Now I'm gonna go on with the next matte bronzer. This is in the shade Deep Tan. I'm gonna use this to contour my face. Now I'm using this e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dust off, I'm gonna dust off that setting powder. Not only am I gonna dust off the setting powder, but I'm gonna just go ahead and blend out the rest of my face. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Urban Decay D Slate Settings on um, spray. Now I'm gonna use my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara Highlighter. I'm going to use shade right here in the James and Charles palette. It's just like gold glittery. Not too much of a yellow gold, but kind of like a champagne kind of gold. I'm gonna apply that in. Ooh, look. It's very pretty. Going to line my lips with the NYX Professionals Center Color Espresso. Go in with my NYX Butter Gloss and the Color Madeline. I forgot to add some highlight to the corner of my eyes, so I'm gonna just do that right now using the same brush that I use to apply the highlight. I like using this brush because it really gets like right here in that pocket. And I 